Do you want to do it on my head? I want to do it. I was planning on going boff. That's good. Okay. I'd like that. Okay. So okay. that's buffed it. Which part of the creative process do you fear the most and why? E.g., writing, pitching, performing, filming, reviews, etc. Oh, reviews. Reviews um, is. Do you want to go first? You can have reviews if you yeah, want. Yeah, I. Well, can I say all of them? I'm generally you quite. Can't I'm say. generally quite fearful. I, it just is reviews, but I'll pretend it isn't. You can so, have yeah. reviews. Okay, I have reviews. <laughs> um, doubly so for chickens, probably. Well, no, it's mm. bad for everything, but for obviously chickens is something that we've written and are in, and if it's bad, it is just awful, frankly. And also, okay. it does it does have an effect on you. Of course, it does. Yeah. It, people who say it doesn't are very don't, are very impressive people. How could it? How, it could, it, how, could, it, how could it not? If you otherwise you wouldn't. If you read a review, if it didn't affect you, you, you wouldn't know whether a review was a good review or a bad review. Like the your ability to discriminate between the two must mean that there are some that you prefer. Yeah, uh, there's, I think there's two things just briefly to say about reviews. One is in our industry. We often meet a lot of people who are like, oh, don't worry about the reviews, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and there's a certain truth to that. But also, I think, you know, we don't get, we don't have anyone else outside the project whose job it is to criticise mm. us. That is quite an important job, I think. And I think you can learn a lot from reviews. If, if the same criticism keeps coming up, yeah. that's the it's thing. probably yeah. true. A, s a single review, it? yeah, is probably less meaningful because, you know, Everyone's well, not everyone. There is a review of The Office the day after it came out, which says the is the worst thing he's ever seen. Yeah. All the reviews that have been between us were <laughs> negative to begin with. Maybe it is a bad show. <laughs> but it's not a bad show. <laughs> it, it might be, but the point is, you can definitely be successful and also make good stuff, and the reviews still be bad. Yeah. But at the same time, worth listening to. Terri yeah, yeah, terrifying. What about you, Johnny? Um, I'm going to go writing. Mm. It's not. I don't. It's not that I fear it, but I think it's a very hard. It's the least fun part of the yes. show. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're you spend months and months in a room, and it feels like defending in football. I think that's your analogy. It feels like defending. You always feel like you're stopping it being. It awful. always feels like it's not working. Yeah. 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 Every the, every, like every part of the process. From I, I enjoy every part of the process more and more as it goes on. Right. When you sit down with episode one blank page, that's a pretty horrible feeling. But as it as it get more and more of it written, you start it starts taking shape. That's exciting. Yeah. Then when you get on set, that's good and it's fun to film. And mm. I really I know some people don't, but I love the edit and I like taking all the raw material we've got and trying to make the best thing out of it. Then we do come to reviews, which I already said I hate, so that backfires. Yeah. But yeah. in general, yeah. writing sitting there with a blank page is pretty scary. Very difficult. I, I fear the performing side. That's most, convenient, isn't it? Actually, yeah, we've all got different, different ones. But I actually, in fact, I, I, I mean, what I fear is the, the ticking clock and me not getting it right and time running out. And there is a particular world of pain where you know that something has gone in, has been bought, uh, and it wasn't as good, and you've just got to suck it up and just yeah, stand hard. there. And often you've got to stand there on your own, on your mark, and shut up, and and that is that is difficult. That to me feels like getting a duck in cricket. Like you've just got to be like. And and I think that 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 is the moment that I you know find most difficult. I think some of people might not know who are just coming into the industry is just genuinely the lack of time. It's so you, rushed. Yeah, so it's so rushed. It's it's incredibly expensive to film something, yeah. and so you do not have unlimited time to film it. I think I when I was a kid I used to watch stuff and if I thought a bit of it was bad I'd be like ha it's inexcusable that that is bad because you've had you know this is your thing you've got all the time in the world you've got all day to film that yeah. that scene that which feel, sounds like you know hours but actually it's just not the case because yeah. you get there you actually often will be doing you know eight nine or ten pages of scripts in a day it can get you know when if you get to the end of the day and things have gone wrong you can end up with half an hour to do a whole scene there's yeah. lots of scenes in Chickens yeah, where well. we've had to do it in, you know, what you get one take, and that's a lot of pressure when it's going to be yeah. seen by millions of people. Yeah, you, get to, you only get to do it once, and if it's not, if bits of it aren't good, that, that's bad luck. But yeah. that is the way it's going to be. Yeah. So you should be more forgiving, is what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> no, give us a yeah. give us a break. Come on, 